but I can see that this like this little tail kind of does need to come off right here. I kind of just want to cut it. I have my tweezer in. I don't know. I don't care. It's just hair. <laughs> Some hairstylist is like cringing right now. Like I can't believe you did that. to a week in my hair straight edition. So technically this is day three for me. Let me walk you through day one and day two. Day one was wash day. Now I don't know if you guys remember, if you recall, <laughs> but all through December I was protective styling. I had these Cuban twists, kinky twists in my hair and I was, I didn't touch it except for to refresh. So I, I refreshed my hair maybe like two or three times, meaning I took the twist out, put them back in. And I mean, I was just riding that hairstyle out. You know what I'm saying? Like it, it was my ride or die. And I love the convenience of it, okay? But it was time for it to come out. And there were definitely a few that I had to really take my time like detangling. So for the detangling process, I tried something new. Let me share. Let me just pause real quick and <laughs> take down my hair since this is about my hair. It is flat ironed. We will go through this, okay? So day one was shampoo, right? Scalp greens on my scalp. I followed up with this head and shoulders water activated scalp scrub. And this has like little granules in it that are supposed to help exfoliate your scalp. So I did use that. It also foams up like a shampoo, but this is something that you use to remove buildup and all that stuff. It does have a dandruff treatment agent ingredient in it. And then I followed up with Nizerol. And Nizerol is my anti-dandruff, ketoconazole, hero, love this product. You know, and Nizerol be coming through, okay? The ketoconazole in it really, really helps with my seborrheic dermatitis. Um, and I typically have to use it a few times in a row to kind of get normal again. That is the price I pay for eating junk food. And then I kept it simple. Honestly, I just followed up with the hair mask from Bread Beauty. It's a deep conditioner. I skipped conditioner altogether. At that point, I was just trying to get through. I'm not even on front, you guys. Like it was like, this is, I just need to get stuff off my scalp and then condition it. And actually it worked out for me. You know, simplicity for me, it wins every time. Then yesterday, day two, I flat ironed my hair. Hey loves, we're gonna take this 4C hair in its beautiful, natural, luscious state to straight. Keep watching. And then you'll take your flat iron. I like to start at the roots and then work my way down. I don't do one smooth, swoop all the way down because I tend to have to pause in the middle, detangle the ends, and then continue on. And we are back. Yay! I have finished trimming my hair. I am very tired. Today was very on and off doing my hair. And so it is nighttime and it is trimmed. As you guys can see, this side usually has more density and grows a little bit longer than this side. Again, I will link that video for you below. I use a Revlon blow dryer, and then I followed up with a flat iron. The serum that I ended up using is an old one I have from Living Proof. It's called the Satin Hair Serum. A lot of this stuff is old. I like using my stuff up, so a lot of times the, the, the lettering is off. It is what it is, okay? This is almost done. I don't straighten my hair very often. Um, I use my uh, dry bar clips for the first time and um these worked out well these worked out well i kind of compared them to the ones i usually use and honestly they're very similar they're they're pretty they're pretty darn similar but I, yeah i feel like this one i feel like the dry bar one it has something something that is snagging slightly yeah it's there's uh, you guys will not be able to see it but here there's like a little, I don't know, the mold. So that's the thing about these hair clips that you have to really be careful. If you get like cheaper ones or the dry bar ones aren't 
particularly cheap, I would say. Um, but if the molding is not perfect, it will snag your hair. So I still recommend the ones that I get off of Amazon by Color Track. They are so good. They don't have any weird molding things that would snag your hair. That little circle that's on this one on the bottom is actually on the top here, and I've never had any any problems. So that's the thing. Like a lot of times, hair companies they don't realize that little things like that on textured hair does matter. So I'm still going to recommend the color track ones. And like, I'll still use these in a pinch. They're not like terrible or anything, um, but the other ones are just slightly better for that reason. As you can see, I did nothing to my hair. Um, I'm actually about to head to the gym. Yes, I'm about to go to the gym, even though I flat ironed my hair, okay? We are choosing health over aesthetics. <laughs> um, but I think what I wanna do is use a little like a little bit of moisturizer on my hair because right now it feels good i mean it has serum but it doesn't you know how it is when you have like straight hair it doesn't necessarily feel like hydrated it just feels silky and i don't care to keep it super straight oh, i need to fix this side so i gave myself a little bit of a trim but this side grows longer than the other side if you guys can see yeah it just grows longer and i've been like snipping away at it like you, you guys can see well some of its reversion too I, th I actually think this side reverts a little bit faster than this side. it's hair is a strange thing it's complicated okay but i can see that this like this little tail kind of does need to come off right here i kind of just want to cut it i have my tweezer man I don't know. I don't care. It's just hair. <laughs> Some hairstylist is like cringing right now. Like, I can't believe you did that. I'm going to get a professional to fix it, um, which means that I'm probably going to lose some length. I will say, and I, I'm going to actually like do the closing part of that straightening video today, but um, my hair is really annoying me. It, it has been annoying me because like, <laughs> I really wanna reach my hair length goals and I feel like I keep getting stuck at this length. Maybe it's just me, maybe I'm just tripping. Maybe when I edit the video, I'll be like, actually girl, you tripping, I don't know. Uh, maybe I'm cutting off too much, maybe I'm not trimming enough. I, I'm not exactly sure, but I am quite annoyed. Um, so I'm gonna go in with this uh, Bread Beauty hair cream, just a little bit of it and I'm gonna twist it up. Life goes up and it goes down. I know my mom taught me that I figured why we fool around So little And we keep track of time Being so serious Idiots Alright, it is time to head to the gym Putting this hat on That is one thing about having straight hair is You can just wear hats You don't have to Because every time when I have my natural texture Even if it's stretched My hat be all the way up here so I do enjoy that. Uh, this is not a satin lined hat. I literally am only gonna wear it to the gym. And then I think I'm gonna put this back, back in a ponytail or something. I just don't want it on, you know what? We're gonna use a clip, I don't care. We're gonna use a clip. We'll do this real quick and just, just put it up, right? I don't care. I just want it off of my neck. And this is how I'm gonna be on the treadmill. But hey there, I'm just gonna put the hat on. This is a good errands run. <laughs> run look. This is a good errands run look. That's what I meant to say. All right, let's go.
so this is technically day three, four, five for me. Day five after I have washed my hair. And I kind of wanted to come on and give you guys an update on what I'm gonna be doing with my hair and let you know how things are going. So I have been working out and it hasn't been intense. I've been walking and then doing some squats and things like that. And of course, my ends have already kind of reverted um, and I'm okay with that. This is what I believe needs to be chopped off. And I'm kind of thinking about, yeah, I'm kind of thinking about just like doing the trim myself because um, I know I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go to someone right now and essentially if I've even if I've trimmed my hair if I didn't get off all of the split ends it's still going to keep damaging my hair so um, I'm just gonna have to put my big girl pants on and, and trim it up but I have to film a video first and so I'm going to do that and then come back but before I do that I just want to mention something okay there's all of this craze around like hair growth and what makes your hair grow and I think most people are talking about length retention, not hair growth. If you want to talk about hair growth, it happens within your body. Like the ability to grow your hair does not come packaged. It is not in a bottle. It is something that is from within. And so I think that the conversation gets a little convoluted because of the terminology. I'm just going to leave it at that. So what I want to say is that working out and moving your body is so beneficial. In order to increase the nutrients in your bloodstream, you have to ingest good things and take care of your body. We're talking fruits, vegetables, nuts, things that we all know are good for our bodies. It's also good for our hair and our nails. So like, think about it, right? I'm eating healthy things and we know that blood flows through our system. We know that if we are active, it gets our blood pumping. And so that means that more blood is going to more places more efficiently. And if nutrients are in that blood, it can only help us. It can only help our hair. It can only help our skin and our nails and stuff. So, I mean, that's just science. And I'm, I know it goes way deeper <laughs> than that. I'm not trying to give you like a dissertation or anything like that, but it's just like a really simple thing, right? Move your body. It doesn't have to be intense. Move your body and and get your, your nutrients in in whatever way you choose. Um, and I'm just here to share that. So I'm going to film a video and then I'm gonna come back and just figure out what I wanna do with my hair. Um, I might end up like flat ironing it a little bit more. As a matter of fact, let me put a little bit more heat protectant on it. Just while I'm waiting, because I think I'm gonna end up flat ironing a little bit. I already used heat protectant when I was initially um, doing my hair. This is a wet formula and I don't wanna blow dry and flat iron again. So in particular, yeah. I wanted to kind of put this on my hair, not too, too much, cause I'm not trying to get it to like fully revert, but maybe this will dry by the time I'm done doing this video. I'm planning on doing a fun video, reacting to your comments to my most popular video last month. Um, the hair trends video, yes, it has quite a few views now and um, I think it'd be fun to kind of revamp that by reacting to some of your hilarious comments. So I am going to film that video now and come back. See if I can do this. Um, should I put my hair up or just leave it? Hold on. I don't know, let's put it on. This would be like too cute. No, no, no. I think this is good enough. Why not? <laughs> Let's go. At the time of filming this video, I have 44,000 views on the most popular video that I filmed last month, Seven Trends We Are Leaving Behind in 2022, and the comments are hilarious. Let's go through them together. Yes, I will subject myself to this once again. <laughs> All right, I am gonna start trimming my hair. Um, this is kind of what it would have looked like had I, I kept with it, but this was temporary. It wasn't serious, you know? <laughs> and I'm just gonna go through and and take my trimming scissors and trim because I just, I, I just can't let this opportunity go by and like not take advantage of the ability to really, really trim my hair. So I'm gonna do that 
and um, I mean, it's not gonna be detailed, but this is what I'm doing for day five. So my camera ended up cutting off. My memory card was full. If I have it, I'll show it to you, but I flat ironed um, these two sections here and I'm just going through and just taking, spending a little bit more time, a little bit more detail to the trimming process. I think when I did it last time, I was just, honestly very tired from blow drying and flat ironing and all of that. And I think this time I just wanna go through and just be a little bit more detailed and just see if I can get as many of those split ends off as possible since I'm not going to be going to a professional this time around. Like it literally makes no sense to the progress of my hair if I don't actually get those ends off. So that's what I'm gonna be doing. I'm gonna be working on that and working through like the broken areas that I did basically like scratched a hole <laughs> into my hair. I scratched a bald spot um, a few months ago and so it's kind of recovering from that. So these are problem areas that I'm cutting right now, which is why I'm being so slow about it um, because I have that breakage that happened here. I really have to like look at the hair and just make sure that I'm getting as many of these split ends off as possible, even if it's uneven. It's a little bit tedious, which is why I'm glad I'm doing it now that I am a little bit more refreshed. And I'm also using the mirror to just take a look at, you know, where the hair starts to look thin, kind of things that it's a little bit harder for me to see up close. In the mirror, I can actually see a little bit more. And of course, this will be done more, I guess, in bulk <laughs> with the thicker hair in the back. Yeah, so it's a little tedious. So I'm just kind of sharing with you guys a little bit and then I'll come back when it's all done. <laughs> all right, you guys, end of day five. I have trimmed my hair. I have evened it up as much as I possibly can myself. And um, my son is in the room. He is gonna say hi. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> um, let me just show you guys what the back is looking like. I don't know if it's even or not. I also yeah, I know it. that. I yeah, know that. Yeah, yeah. Okay, um, and I'll see you guys in a day or so uh, with an update. <laughs> Knowing me, I'm probably gonna twist it tonight. <sighs> I also have to record an audition and I'm just like, what am I gonna do with my hair? Maybe I'll just leave it like this. No, I'll probably, I'll, I'm, I think I'm gonna put it back in the ponytail. I don't know. Hair, auditioning, acting, it's so annoying. <sighs> anyway, bye. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. We are behind the scenes uh, for my audition that I had. And I tried to not use any heat today. And unfortunately, I had to because my hair was bowing out. <laughs> After I did my workout today, I was like, oh, it's gonna be fine. And my husband was like. <laughs> so I was like, all right. So I just like ran the flat iron through it like really, really fast. Um, and then this is just how it looked. I was playing like an assistant. So, you know, this is this is the look. And I am pr can I just say I'm proud of myself, okay? You guys have no idea how much black actors fuss at their hair for auditions and how often we change our hair, especially someone like me, to the point where it's like we spend hundreds like headshots, no less than $400. You're probably spending in between four to $700 on just the shots, right? And then it's gonna cost another probably like $100 just to get like the ones you want edited. And then it's like $5 per photo, $10 for, per video that you want to upload to the site. And the site itself is like $125 a year. Like by the time you're all said and done, you've paid eight to a thousand dollars on headshots. And so, you know, when a casting director is looking through your shots, they want to see the person that's in the photo. <laughs> um, I have multiple photos, photos up on my uh, profile. But normally I'd be like, I don't know which one they did. Like, la like, did they do the twist one, the lock one, the whatever one, or I, like, I have no idea. And so I, I probably would have retwisted my hair for this audition, um, just because I would be like paranoid of, about looking different than my headshots. Um, but in 2023, we said we don't give a hell, okay? As long as I show back to the callback looking the way I did at the initial audition, then I should be fine. Um, but 
this is this is the hair. This is the hair. And at this point, we need the Crown Act just like <laughs> across the board. We need more education. There was just um, a Screen Actors Guild, uh, what is it called? Like a seminar about black people in their hair. I didn't attend it, I was busy, but I love that the conversation is being had and that actors like Tracy Ellis Ross and like many other actors, I know they have like a whole show that's out right now, um, are they're starting to open up the conversation that we've been having online for a decade. So I think that is really cool and it's drawing a lot of attention to black actors and it was specifically about like the education of black hair and also the fact that we need more hairstylists that can do black hair because we spend so much money on just our hair looking a certain way. And of course our hair expands, like it does a lot of things. So continuity is also an issue. So having someone who can do wigs well, who can do braids well, who know what to do with a twist out. Like, you know what I mean? Cause nine times out of 10, I show up to set with a twist out because nine times out of 10, the person has no idea what to do with my hair. I could not show up in a wash and go unless that's the way I audition and they expect me to show up on set. So majority of the time my hair is like in a twist out, but lately it's been a twist. Anyway, I just kind of want to give you guys a 411 on something that I have to think about with my hair every week, especially if I have an audition. So this is kind of my solve this time. Um, we'll see <laughs> next time. Um, and this is what it looked like. I just like ran through it very lightly with the, the hair straightener and it's going to be time for me to wash my hair soon because I definitely am not trying to get heat damage or anything and I, I straightening it every day. Like hopefully, I don't want to not hope that I don't get an audition, but hopefully whatever audition I have, it will fit this hair and it won't be a problem. It's so crazy how we have to, like, uh, it's so annoying. I'm about to do my nighttime skin routine and I just want to let you guys know how my hair is for the night. This is how I'm going to wear it. I put a little moisturizer in it from Bright Beauty and I'm going to sleep with it like this and my bonnet on. Good night. Hello, hello. Welcome to day eight of straight hair. Straight hair. <laughs> I typically will wash my hair every seven to 10 days. And due to the nature of this hairstyle, we are stretching to 10 days. And I feel good about it. My scalp is okay. It's okay. I definitely will have to use the Nizoral treatment again on my scalp. This is why, this is why I don't like rubber bands. Hold on, where's my scissors? See, I gotta do it like I do my son's hair. I rarely use rubber bands, but when I do, I have to remember to cut them out and not try to take them out. Do, 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 because your hair will, <laughs> will come out with it. All right, I've got my mirror right here. Bam, take them out. It's not worth, <laughs> struggling to take them out and ripping off your hair. That would completely defeat the whole purpose of me doing this. So it's best to just be patient and grab some scissors and a mirror. I must take my own advice. By the way, this is how I was kind of wearing my hair for working out. I really don't want my hair rubbing against my shoulders, causing more breakage to my ends or roughing of the ends or splitting my ends. Don't want to do that. So. I created a very quick protective style for myself and that involved doing these twists, twist, 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 flat twist, big flat twist. I had a rubber band here, a rubber band on the end, and then I rolled that right into there and it created this little kind of makeshift. <laughs> I guess it would be considered a hairstyle, but really it's just so that I didn't get my ends, I guess, rubbing against my shoulders. Today, I, I just, my words are not coming to me fast enough. It could also be that I'm just not very good at talking while I do my hair. Everything else I can do, I'm trying to grab this. So what I do is I take a tail comb and I try to put it underneath this if I need to so that I could stretch the rubber band out and then cut. And then from there, it should be easy peasy. Now I just need to kind of get my hair ready for a video. Honestly, this was not supposed to be a style, which is why I didn't do it as neat as I 
probably should have. I think what I'm gonna do is put a hat on. You know, a hat will fix everything. You just put a hat on, have a couple curls in the front, record the video, and then I'm gonna go ahead, apply some moisturizer to my hair, and then twist it back up and literally put it back into the style until it's time to wash it. So I may check back in one more time when it's time to wash, just to give you guys a little bit of an assessment on my hair, but I mean, probably a little flaky, but. This is my hair, my roots are definitely reverting. Obviously I've been working out. I'm gonna check to see how long this video is and if I have time, I will do a haul for you. If I don't, I will include it in another video, okay? <laughs> All right, let me get ready for this video. And so it has come to this. Day 10, wash day, and a bun. So yes, typically when I do my hair in general, it ends up in a high puff or a bun of some sort. And just because my hair is straight, there is no exception. So what are my plans? My plans are to clarify my hair. I definitely wanna make sure that I get all of this silicone and product off of my hair strands so that I can absorb uh, water <laughs> and so that my products can and be more effective. So I definitely need to get rid of this layer, this protective layer that protects me from heat. Uh, I have actually never had heat damage, thankfully, and I do not plan on starting. So I am okay with using products that have silicone in them, especially when I am using heat with my hair. So day 10, ooh, my hair, I tried to do this little bun. I actually did it on TikTok Live. If you are not following me on TikTok, it's at Latoya underscore Ebony. I'm gonna be doing live streaming on every platform. So whatever platform, whether it's YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, you will get some live streaming because sometimes I'm, most times I'm just kind of doing my makeup and like kind of doing a quick hairstyle. And so this was the style of the day on TikTok. Let me, let me show you. It's a little messy because I put my sweater on, but I say just a little headband and a bun. I'm gonna film some videos. I'm probably going to film me clarifying my hair. And I'm using Kinky Curly's uh, clarifying shampoo and then I'm gonna move from there. I've got a couple of new products that I'm trying, um, but of course I will film it for you. <laughs> I hope you enjoy this week in my hair. Ask me questions down below. What was your favorite part? Um, as far as the haul that I said that I was gonna do at the beginning of the video, I just didn't have time. But I think I'm going to include it in the next week in my hair. It is from AG Hair. They have new packaging, so I definitely wanna make sure to highlight that. And subscribe, thumbs up. Let me know if you like these videos. It's a little different, you know, on, on this channel we do a lot of hair care. I've started doing some commentary and of course the week in my hair. So I'm just following what you guys like, okay? And the last one did well. So I will see you on a Monday or a Thursday. Love ya. And Zoe loves you too. <laughs> Bye. Mwah.